All right, uh, I went to Walgreens. Now, normally I wouldn't go to a Walgreens, and I don't think, I think there's only one up here, at least around us. A little bit winded because I just, you know, did a lot of walking. I know, I'm weak, but uh, one thing that uh, somebody tipped off on the Charlotte Magic group is that Walmart or Walgreens are doing magic packs two for four dollars uh, so buy one get one free and that also a price for the battle packs which are 529 and those again are buy one get one free so naturally I bought out all they had we've got we've got a gate crash battle pack a regular gate crash booster one dragon's maze pack three regular and 14 packs, and two battle packs. Total cost for 11 packs, less than $20. Can't beat that, even if most of it is in 14. But we're going to start with the Gate Crash battle pack. I'm going to do the opening here off camera, so I don't have to do it in front of the camera here. So, battle packs, you know how they work. You get two packs plus some semi-randomized cards. Usually contains a couple uncommons. And a uh, little how to play guide or whatever. Gotta check Facebook. So, here's the random semi random cards nothing really surprising here there's a gift of Orzova that's actually not too bad and that's the rest of it's just commons now I'll just put them I'll put them over here that was the Orzov pack. You hope to get a Grohl pack, although I don't think... Here's the other battle pack. Here's a little gate crash set debrief or whatever. And then... This is a uh, Simic. Let's see, there's an uncommon. You get like two uncommons usually. Or two or three. You get your guild gates too, which is nice. These are Return to Ravnica lands. So, rest is just commons there. And then, here's the regular gate crash. And the little, oop, camera, little pamphlet thing. Or the little clamshell. So, here we go. Three packs of gate crash. Hope we pull a Domri. Full shock lane would be nice. I pulled a full shock lane out of my last battle pack of this stuff. Or one of my previous battle packs. Oh, this... Little nasty ding right there on that Night's Watch. Looks like I see a foil in there. Got a Thousand Lashes, Grill Charm, Simic Flux Mage, and a Soul Ransom. And a Foil Forest. Not bad. I like those. I like getting foil lands on occasion. Now for the Battle Pack contents. You can get good cards in them. They're just not... Very uh, highly seated. Doesn't look like a foil in there. Yep. Got a Zomic Guild Mage, Illness in the Ranks, True Fire Paladin, and a Merciless Eviction. I don't know if that still sees play or not. I don't think it does. Here's our third Gate Crash pack. Okay. Uh, foil. It's red. Got a Coast Confession, Mark for Death, Guardian of the Gateless, and a Five Alarm Fire. And this is a cool one. I don't use it on my sideboard anymore. A Foil Skull Crack. I want to say that's used in, like, Mono Red Burn, but I could be wrong. Alright. Dragon's Maze. And then a buttload of M14. Hopefully I can pull my second Voice of Resurgence. 
from this product. But, I don't know. Shockland wouldn't be too bad. I don't think you can get foil Shocklands in this. We'll see. Foil. I think. Nope. Scab Clan Giant. Tristani Summoner. Profit Loss. And a Rurik Thar. And a Demir Guild Gate. Alright. Now for all the M14. You okay? Yeah, man. Mm. So. M14. Key cards. What is it now? Mutavolt, I think, is still big. Scavenging use, I think, is still worth money. You get your little M14 primer thing. You get your little mis mini packs. Which, once I get all these unfurled here, I'll do those. Here's your other little thing there. Here's your two little packs there. We got seven packs of M14. If I pull one... Uh, if I can pull at least one Mutavault, I'll be happy. Or if I can pull a Scavenging Goose, I'll be happy about that too. They didn't have any Theros, which... You know, was kind of saddening, but... There's the little mini packs there. And then our fourth pack, our little packs there. And then, oops. Five. I'm doing this off camera so I can actually get it open. And I just realized the TV ain't even on, which I'll get to in a second. Six. And... Seven. Alright, seven packs. Let's see what's in these little mini packs. I think we're looking for... Young Pyromancers out of these would be alright. I wouldn't mind those. This one's a blue one, though. Uh, Air Servant, Smurfolk Spy, Disperse, Vial of Poison, Messenger Drake. There's two red ones. Hold off on those. See if we get any Young Pyromancers. There's uh Tenacious Dead Vampire Warlord Pacifism here's a uh, I thought that was another pacifism. Stonehorn Chancer Quarter shield. We're getting there. Rod of Ruin, that's an old card. Fire Pack Alpha. Alright, I'm going to have to move these down here. I'm going to move this right there. Spell Blast, horrible card. Phantom Warrior, that's pretty good. Blessing, Wall of Swords. 
Celestial Flare is actually a good uh, mono white card, which I'm pretty sure it is. It's probably also used in any other decks. Alright. Here are our red cards. I don't know what the... I don't think you can get Young Pyromancers in here, but you could. Flames of the Firebrand, and a Battle Sliver. And here's the other one. Okay. Uh, there's a Shiva's Embrace. One more uncommon. It is Elixir. Alright. Now, for seven packs of M14. Oh, got a foil, got a Sarah Angel, Encroaching Wastes, Warren of Evil Sol, and a Siphon Sliver, and a foil with Deadly Recluse. Can't tell. Got a Shiv's Embrace, Mana Weft Sliver, that's a good one. Art, art, I can't read that one. And a Grim Return. Oh. Mm. Gotta move everything. Hold on. There we go. Let me back this up a little bit. Actually, I'll do this right here. Got a quarter shield, another mana weft sliver, a flesh pulver giant, and a fiend slayer paladin. I think that's still worth some money. And a foil bubbling cauldron. Alright, this isn't gonna work. Gonna have to. Hmm. I have an idea. Let's try. There we go. Now we're just gonna have to put it back like this. That's my dad in the background. Because I have no other way of showing this. No foil. A quarter shield, millstone, flesh purple giant, and another fiend slayer paladin. <laughs> Any more of those I'm gonna have a play set. Which wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah, they're like eight or ten bucks. Something like that. Now I have two, and I've pulled three. I've actually might have pulled four, I don't remember. Alright. Spell Blast, Nolly Zombie, Water Servant, and a Nightmare. EDH All Star. Right, two packs. Oh, I might have actually spoiled the rare. Yeah, it did. Got a Shift and Embrace, Staff of the Wild Magus, Blessing, a Gale Rider Sliver, and a Foil Woodboard Behemoth. Alright. Last pack. Still have yet to pull a Young Pyromancer, but I don't exactly need them, I just would like to have them. Mind Shrieker. Dark Steel Winged. Singer Vampire, Haunted Plate Mail. So, to recap, we've got Haunted Plate Mail, Wood Foil, Woodborne Behemoth, Gale Rider Sliver, Nightmare, not one, but, er, hold on. Two Fiend Slayer Paladins, Foil Bubbling Cauldron, Two Mana Weft Slivers, 
Grim Return, Deadly Recluse Foil, Siphon Slayer, Rurik Thar, Spoil Skullcrack, Five Alarm Fire, Merciless Eviction, Foil Forest, Soul Ransom, and just on top of Gift of Orzello. Not bad. Could have been better, but could have been worse. So, later.